Okay, so what this video is, is going to do for you, it's going to show you how to eliminate those horizontal lines on your GoPro 3 footage that you see when flying directly into the sun or at angles to the sun. Uh, it's an issue on the net, obviously, because people have been making uh, lens shades, charging for lens shades uh, that uh, range anywhere from $12 to thirty, forty, fifty, sixty dollars for a, a lens shade that clips onto the uh, onto the lens of the GoPro. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to show you how to make a lens shade for uh, less than a penny and uh, just a few minutes of your time that will eliminate that phenomenon. You'll see a video here in just a second that will uh, show you what I am experiencing, just a very short uh, a few seconds worth of footage. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut some electrical tape here. We're going to cut it one and an eighth inch in length. And we'll measure it here. One and an eighth inch. And then we're going to cut a half an inch. We're going to make the lens or the uh, hood tapered on this lens shade down to a half an inch. We're going to cut the corners off. So we're going to take a cut there at a 45 degree angle and we're going to cut here at a 45 degree angle so now we have a piece of electrical tape and this this is a half an inch long, and this is on the back side one and an eighth inches long. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put it on our Hero 3, and just going to put it right on top there. Just like that. Now what we have is a great little lens shade for basically a song and a dance. <laughs> Costs us virtually nothing. And it really works well to keep the shadows of the propellers of the DJI Phantom 2 from reflecting on the uh, surface of the lens as you saw in the previous video. So there you go. That's as simple as that is. One and an eighth inches wide at the back side. Half an inch at the front side. And that is it, my friends. Okay, then all you need to do is put the camera back on the back on the Phantom. And that's a simple task. Slip it in there like so. Tighten it down. That's basically it. And we have a good little lens shade that will take that shadow right off of that lens and you'll see no more horizontal lines going across your videos. Now I should note also that this lens shade I have tested and it works well. 
uh, for 60 frames per second uh, and normal field of vision, not extra wide or not wide, but uh, the normal uh, normal vision. I haven't tried it on the wide yet, so I'm not sure if the uh, it's possible that the uh, wide wide may pick up a portion of that uh, uh, lens shade up at the top. Uh, I'm doing uh, video, and I like the uh, I like the normal mode, and that's where my vast majority of the footage that I shoot is is uh, uh, being shot at. So. Just an FYI, 60 frames per minute, normal field of vision, normal wide angle, not wide angle, but normal field of vision, and uh, it works, works great.